Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Cheap Comic Collector, and we're doing our usual Saturday claim sale today. Um, <clears throat> was just watching comic book memories. I, I didn't, I, I would, didn't chat at all, uh, but I was watching it with the sound off mostly because I had some phone calls coming in uh, that, of things that I, I, people that I needed to talk to. Uh, so uh, they were showing some great magazines there. Uh, Shannon had some great back issues of the uh, uh, Tomorrow's magazine selection. I'm, I've always, I'm one of those guys that are always looking for those on the cheap and I've never been able to find any. <laughs> I think I have a couple digital copies that I downloaded from somewhere and they look like good magazines to have, but uh, uh, yeah, I'd rather spend the money on comics, I guess. I, I would like to have them though, but they look pretty cool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the intro. It was uh, something I had never seen before. It, uh, the uh, I thought it was interesting that they used Vigilante, the original Vigilante, Greg Saunders, in there. Um, it's taken from the uh, Batman, the Brave and the Bold cartoon series, um, which I had never heard of before. I, I know there's a lot of modern Batman animated series that I've I've never seen or watched. And uh, anyway, found that clip. Thought it would be cool to play. So. Uh, I guess we'll just, uh, get into going into the comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. The comic books are $2. Um, it includes shipping and handling anywhere in the United States. It's $2 per book. Uh, we got a long box to go through. Uh, hey, Easy. Still at school. Yeah. I got, I got your message this morning. Yeah, don't don't try to watch while you're driving, man. <laughs> Not a good idea. Uh, glad you like the intro. But uh, anyway, we're going to start off a little bit slow. Um, I've got a set of Outsiders comics from... Turn the light on. Uh, 2003. This is the 2003 series. And I got issues number... Uh, 1 through 18. So if anybody wants that set, it would be uh, $36 for the set. Uh, I think it continued on after that. I just, these are the, the issues that I have in a row. So I have 1 through 18. It's got uh, Arsenal, um, when he's going through that name, uh, Metamorpho, Nightwing, Jade, and... Uh, I'm not sure of the other girls' names. Thunder, I think. Grace. And... Indigo. And I cheated on those names. I looked before the, the movie, before the show started. But uh, the artwork's pretty good in here. It looks it looks like a good story. Um, need to switch over to the other camera, duh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing this morning. Let's go to the camera. There we go. Now you can see it. <laughs> Only I would try to sell comics without it being letting anybody see them. Um, so yeah, the art's, uh, art looks pretty good in the series. I haven't read this. Um, so I can't vouch for it. I, I know I'm a fan of the original Batman and the Outsiders. But, uh, looks like Gorilla Grodd is the first villain that shows up in the series. Nice, uh, picture of him there. <clears throat> and it's just a set of 1 through 18. So you got 1, 2, 3 with the Joker on the cover. Four, Brother Blood, it looks like. Five, six, seven, uh, eight, Guest Trying Huntress. Nine's got Black Lightning. Ten's got uh, Shazam, Captain Marvel. Eleven, twelve, 13, The Return of the Fearsome Five in their uh, new, with their new look. Number 14, 15, 
16, uh, 17 guest starring John Walsh, and 18 guest starring John Walsh. So, so if anybody wants that set, that's here. Um, I also still have that Batwing set I showed a long time ago, if anybody wants a set of Batwing. And I have all those Convergence books that I've never showed on the claim sale. Uh, so if anybody's interested in the, any of those, let me know. If you want to claim those or or part of those, just uh, give me a shout and let me know. And well, we were up to like four viewers and now we're back to uh, one again. So, okay. <laughs> Glad you're here, Easy. Uh, let's see. Off the bat, we got New Mutants number three. Uh, Truth or Death, three of three. So I'm not sure if that's a, a mini series or if that's an ongoing. Uh, Truth or Death, so it's probably a, a, a mini series. One of the 90s mini series. Yeah, it ends after that issue. So this is the last issue from 98. This uh, fold out's got one little crease in the corner there. Somehow it got folded over, which is weird. Uh, we got Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys Marvel History number one. A variant cover. This was a fun issue. I read this, and this was a lot of fun. Um, I liked it, and I didn't expect to. <laughs> Alberto lurking in Canada. Hey, Alberto. At New Mutants number seven from the later series number six wasn't a big fan of these covers number three but I haven't read any of this newer stuff so I can't vouch for any of it uh, here's New Mutants number 41 I don't even know who that is <laughs> New Avengers number 29. Uh, Neil the Horse Comics and Stories number 2. And this is this is a little bit different. This isn't a a straight out comic. It's got a lot of text to it. Um, and so not ex I, I haven't read it, so I can't vouch for it. I know that this was uh, considered an artistic uh, success back when they were being published by a lot of people. It's from 1983 and uh, published by uh, Aardvark Vanaheim uh, out of Canada. So that was a little bit different. Uh, Nemesis number three by Mark Miller. Namor the First Mutant number eight. And uh, this is Namor number 12. I think this is the uh, series where he was like a teenager, kind of. Never understood that series. <laughs> Here's number 11, yeah, it's that series. Number 9, that's kind of a cool cover with all the purple fish, though. The colors are neat. Um, let's see, Avengers number 25. Looks like they're coming through the Stargate. <laughs> and this is Avengers number 30 from 2012. Yeah, looks like I tried to get that sticker off of there and couldn't. That's on the bag. And uh, here's Heroes for Hire number 15 with uh, floating heads, but they're all skulls. Um, so that, that's kind of a cool cover. I like that. And we've got Fantastic Four number 4. This one's got a little damage down in the corner. Ultimate X-Men 54. 
Astonishing X-Men 27. Nice, uh, really nice Wolverine cover on there. Cyclops in the back. And we got Warlord number 48. Another copy of this with the first appearance of Iraq. Um, I picked this up at an uh, auction recently for, I think it was 99 cents or something. I already have a copy, but it was a nice clean copy, so I got another one. Uh, New Thunderbolts number 3, Legacy number 84. Uh, Adventures of Superman Annual, number 7, from 1995, a year one story. And Wolverine, number 20, with that uh, Wolverine versus Kingpin uh, cover that I showed recently. That's pretty cool. Ultimate X-Men, 93. And Thor, number 467, uh, one of the Infinity Crusade crossovers. Alrighty, next up we've got... Superman number 206 from 2004. That's a pretty cool cover there. Them fighting whatever that thing is. Jim Lee cover. Uh, Supreme number one. It's got the uh, embossed logo and the gold metallic cover colors on the logo. Alpha Flight, number 100. And Alberto is going to give the new Ultimate Universe a try. Um, I read the first issue of the new Ultimate Spider-Man, and it is really good. Um... The, I know Black Panther is getting a lot of attention, but it, it was pretty much because Ultimate Spider-Man sold out so much that everybody grabbed Black Panther. So I haven't actually read that one. Um, it, it sounds interesting. Uh, Punisher Annual number 5. And Easy wants that one. Okay, cool. Thank you, sir. And El Green Machine, hey buddy, how you doing? Danger Unlimited, number one. This is... I don't really know anything about this. I got one, two, three, four. It introduces the Torch of Liberty. These are from 1994, uh, Dark Horse's Legend imprint. Oh, it's by John Byrne. Okay. That's why it sounded familiar to me, but I haven't actually read it. I should read this. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's true, Alberto. The, the markups are probably crazy on them. Uh, so we got number one, number two, number three. That's creepy. <laughs> and then number four, which is very reminiscent of the old uh, Marvel monster mags. Uh, New Mutants, number 12, the original series. Looks like that's in pretty good shape for how old it is. And we got that Doc Sampson. 
number four. And I got to get this in a different bag because this one is all messed up. <sighs> Uh, Doc Sampson number three guest starring the Punisher. So this is I Guess this is the miniseries. I read I don't remember the Punisher cover. That's weird uh, Here's number two with She-Hulk And number one, so I just reviewed those in a episode a couple days ago uh, Extreme Justice number zero from DC Comics 1995. 1995, that's from. And the Totally Awesome Hulk, number two. And Uncanny X-Men, number 12. Got uh, Magneto sitting in what is probably the Hellfire leader's chair. He's in a white suit, so I don't know if he's supposed to be the new White King or what. Uh, then you got Dark Angel uh, number 8, uh, guest starring Psylocke. And before I forget about it, too, I wanted to uh, apologize for some of the video quality on the uh, daily videos. I know the one yesterday looked like crap. At least it did on my when I watched it. <laughs> um, so the videos I've, I filmed yesterday, I filmed like three videos yesterday, but I went back to using just my phone camera and not running it through the software. Um, and it looked great, just like it used to. So I think the software is... Uh, that I'm using is 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 uh, big time degrading the quality of the video. Um, so I think for the daily videos, I'm just going to go back to using the phone camera. And then uh, you know, on the live streams like this, I pretty much have to use the the software to make it all work. But uh, but for the daily videos, you should in a week or so, you should see a huge. Uh, uh, it, uh, Increase in the quality of the actual video. Uh, Zero Hour Crisis in Time. This is number four. Um, but this series actually counted down backwards. So it went from four to zero. So this is actually the first issue of that series. Uh, got all new X-Men number 25. Monumental 25th issue featuring the greatest artist roster ever assembled. And yet that was the best they could do for a cover. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes for Hire number 14. World War Hulk storyline. Uh, X-Files number 19 from Tops. Or possibly the all-new X-Files, if it was, if it had more than one series. I don't know if it did or not. Uh, Adventures of Superman 1992 annual, uh, part of the Eclipso storyline that ran through the annuals that year, guest starring Lobo and Guy Gardner. And another annual. This one's Justice League America number nine. Uh, year one, 1995 annual. And uh, Impact annual, The Web, uh, number one. The first part of the Earth Quest storyline that ran through the Impact annuals. This is from 1992. Uh, it says it has a trading card inside, and yep, that's still there. Templar is the trading card. It is a character I've never heard of. <laughs> or 
or if I read it, it was incidental enough where I don't remember him. Uh, Inf Man number four, the ultimate ninja from Marvel. Micronauts number 32 from the original series. That looks to be in uh, pretty nice shape. There might be a little. I can't tell if that's part of the cover or not. I think it is. Yeah, the cover's all there. Sorry, there's a little bit of art right here where I couldn't tell through the bag if it was the cover or if there was a chunk missing. It's just the coloring on the cover. Uh, this one's from 1981. The Micronauts skiing in the Arctic, it looks like. So well, that's cool. Uh, Legionnaires number two from the 93 series. And this one's Spy Boy uh, slash Young Justice from a team up from DC and Dark Horse. Uh, nice wraparound cover. This is number two. And not sure who produced this, if it was DC Comics or Dark Horse. I mean, they always they always team up, but uh, this one actually says published by Dark Horse. So, uh, let's see what's next. Okay, this was part of the Superpowers uh, series from Dynamite. This is Superpowers Meet the Bad Guys. Um, it's number three with the Mighty Samson. And uh, somebody named Dagon. But beautiful Alex Ross cover, as most of the Superpowers series have. Nice stuff. Battle Tide number one of four from the uh, Marvel UK line. This is Death's Head 2 and Kill Power in that one. Along with Dark Angel, Psylocke, Motormouth, Tuck, and Wolverine. Tag Team Wrestling Intergalactic Style. <laughs> uh, then you got Danger Trail number one from 1993 by uh, Len Wein, uh, Carmine Infantino, and uh, Frank McLaughlin. King Faraday finds death on the danger trail. Uh, Kid Eternity, number one from the 93 Vertigo series. Uh, G.I. Joe, all I'm real American hero, the number 16 from Image. Um, I kind of like that cover just because of the, the kid sitting there drawing and the characters coming up behind him that's it's neat uh fighting american number one from 1994 um i did a little bit of research on this one because i didn't remember fighting american he was an old older character that i guess joe simon created i think um back when he was unhappy that marvel owned captain america um so he created this character uh, but retained ownership. Um, so I forget who originally published it. It was uh, not Marvel, you know, somebody else. And apparently in the 90s, DC licensed the character to come out with this series. So. Uh, then we have Elf Quest number 9 from the Marvel reprint series in the 1980s. And if you're watching this on a replay, feel free to uh, reach out and let me know if there's books you see that uh, you want. Most of these will probably still be available. Uh, sort of the Atom, number one from the four-issue miniseries by Gil Kane. 
Jack Kirby's Teen Agents, number one of four from Topps Comics. Uh, this one says it has cards inside as well, so let's check that out. That makes sense since it's from Topps. Oh, well, they're in there because it's still sealed in its original plastic. So I can't see. They're all bunched up on top of each other, so I can only see the first one. Um, somebody called the Monitor is on that first card. And then there's looks like there's two other cards in there as well. But that one's still sealed. Which is probably a good thing I didn't know that or I would have opened it a long time ago. <laughs> Justice League United number seven. And this is number 11. That's a crazy cover. I'm guessing that's Animal Man on the cover, just because it looks like he has an A on his chest there. But I'm not sure. Uh, Easy's going to claim Kirby, the Teenagents. Already. You know what? I didn't. I'm so out of it, I didn't start a list today. i to do that. Thank you, sir. Uh, and then we have the Ry Justice League, The Rise of Arsenal. And I think I have the full series of this. It says one of four. I got number one, number two, number three, and number four. So I have that complete series if anybody wants it. Uh, Dark Avengers, number six. And another Danger Trail number one. Huh. All right, well, I'm going to stick one of those in my reading pile then. <laughs> uh, damage number one from the... Looks like it spun out of the Dark Knight's Metal series. I know there's been some other Damage uh, series as well, so I don't know if this is a new version or, or what. Cool cover. You got the military copters in the background and stuff. Uh, from Continuity Comics, Cyber Rad number one. Not sure what this one's about. This is from 91. Story by Peter Stone, pencils by Terry Shoemaker and Richard Bennett, who also did the inks. Cyber Force number two from Image. Oh, Mark Silvestri cover from uh, back when they were first getting going. Uh, the oddest comic ever, Curse of the Weird, number one from Marvel. Cross Gen Chronicles number four by Mark Wade, George Perez, Mike Perkins, and Laura Depoy. And here's Crazy Man, number three, from Continuity Comics. And... This has got an embossed top to it that looks like maybe it's supposed to glow in the dark. Hold on, I'm looking for my... Uh, my laser pointer to see if it does. <laughs> oh, 
it's not retaining any glow, but it, I don't know, so I don't know. Uh, Psyblade Ghost Rider number one from a Marvel and Top Cow image. Uh, Constantine the Hellblazer number eight. And Countdown presents the search for Ray Palmer number one. Uh, this is the Wildstorm issue. I, be I believe this was a series of one-shots um, where they crossed over with different uh, different Earths or something like that or different lines of comics. I'm, I'm not sure. But this was the Wildstorm issue. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, number 12 from Marvel Legacy, number 287. Includes the final chapter of an all-new Conan novella. Claim Cyber. 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 Cyber Rad. Cyber Force. Cyber Rad. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank you, Mike. And we have another Conan the Barbarian. Here's number 13. Uh, Legacy 288. So this was the probably the last Marvel Conan series that they did. Because now he's uh, being... Published by what Titan, I think. And here's a number one. This is one of the mini series Conan the the Barbarian, the Usurper, uh, number one. And Conan the Barbarian, Flame and the Fiend. Number one of three. And Conan the Barbarian 271. And 269. And 262. From 1992. Claim all Conan, okay. I don't think I've put a Conan issue on the show yet that hasn't sold, actually. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Cyborg, number three, DC Special Cyborg, number three of six. And Cyborg, number one, The Man Inside the Machine. This is from 2015. And number two. But this is a different series because this is from 2000. This is from December 2016. So I thought those were the same series, but they're not. It's hard to keep track when they're constantly rebooting. <laughs> Here's number seven from 2016. So that's the same series. And number eight. Let's 
Cyclops, number one. And number two. Well, it's got some cool covers on it. This is, uh, looks like when he was in outer space with his dad down the, in the Star Jammer. Uh, the Spectra, number one of three, 2006, Infinite Crisis Aftermath. Uh, looks like I have all three issues. I'm not sure. I'm just going to check on to see what the actual uh, title is. <laughs> So actual title is Crisis Aftermath the Spectra or Spectra. Well, looks like the first issue has Batman in it as well. So there's number one, number two, and number three. Uh, Spectre's got some kind of beard goatee thing going on. I don't know if that means anything to anybody about who the character is at that time. <laughs> Adventure Comics number two. Legacy number five. 505, I think. Featuring uh, Superboy and then a second feature with the Legion of Superheroes. Here's number six. Got a cool cover of uh, Superboy and Crypto being chased by a dinosaur. <laughs> That's awesome. And let's see. We got Legion of Superheroes number two fifty nine. Um, this this is the one that's the first. Yeah, this is the first. Uh, issue of Legion of Superheroes. Before this, it was Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. <clears throat> and instead of instead of spinning off the Legion into their own series, they continued with the Legion numbering and spun off Superboy into his own series. That's when New Adventures of Superboy started. So, oh, kind of a cool issue to have. It's a little beat up, um, but. Yeah, you know, it's from back in 1980, and it's a cool issue. And let's see, next up we have The Adventures of Superman, number 624, from 2004, A uh, World with Mr. Majestic. Whoever that is. <laughs> Adventures of Superman number 642 from 2005. Uh, this has Superman versus somebody named Ruin. And it actually shows Darkseid in the back there. Uh, knocked out on the ground while they're battling. So must be pretty powerful. Uh, this is something called... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Aero, A E R O, Aero, Aero, something like that. Uh, it's number two. It's from Marvel. Uh, looks to be manga inspired. Um, don't know anything about it. The Crew, number six from Marvel. Uh, the Crew, number seven. Crimson Dynamo number three from uh, from Marvel, and it's got the the uh, Epic logo on it. So I I didn't realize they had rebooted Epic Comics at some point, but apparently they used it for this. And there's number four and number five. <coughs> So 
Sorry, for some reason I keep uh, going off camera with the books here. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, number four. Aquaman, number 14 from 2004. Archie, number 14, uh, variant cover, uh, features Cheryl, Cheryl Blossom, and this was written by Mark Wade. Astonishing X-Men, number 2. And number 8, pretty cool uh, Wolverine cover there with him in front of a moon. Astonishing X-Men number 11. And number 13. Avengers number 2. Or the Avengers the Initiative number 2, probably. Avengers the Children's Crusade number 3 of 9. With the, I remember that featuring the Scarlet Witch, who's prominent on the cover uh, and then we have Batgirl number 66 from 2005 uh, called called Queasy Rider <laughs> and uh, the reason I like this cover is just because of this uh, they put the 66 and the date inside a like a highway road sign in the top that's the only reason I like this cover <laughs> I just think that's a cool detail. Uh, next up we got Batman and Robin number 19. Let me get this wire back up where it belongs. And Batman and the Outsiders number one. This is from 2007. Uh, Batman Dark Detective number six. Uh, got Joker and a bondage cover. And Batman's actually there in the back. He's a little hard kind of overlook him when you're just glancing at it. Batman Gotham Knights, number 48. And number 49, The End of Bane. Yeah, I doubt that. Uh, another Impact Annual, Jaguar, number one annual. Sure, the trading card is in this one. Yep, this one has a trading card for somebody named The Void. got Jaguar number four from the ongoing series in 1991. Uh, guest starring the Black Hood. Cool cover. Justice League of America number 42 from 2010. I don't know who the bad guys are. I recognize the heroes down here, but I don't recognize the, the, the bad guys up top. Justice League of America number 12 from 2014. Forever Evil storyline. Uh, E-Man number one from First Comics. He's back. Fun series. <clears throat> hey Ranger, thanks for joining us. Nice to see you. Uh, easy wants both Jaguars, okay. Uh, 
Justice League of America number two, or possibly JLA number two. This is that series where it says both on the cover, and I can never remember what the actual title is. <laughs> Here's number three from 2015. These are from... And here is a variant cover for number three. This is the uh, one of the bombshells covers that they did back then. This is uh, Wonder Woman looking like she's from the 30s or 40s. Uh, J and here's number eight from 2016. This is a Neil Adams variant cover. So that's cool. And here's number nine. This is a Batman versus Superman variant cover. And he's gonna grab E Man. That Justice League Generation Lost, number 13. Justice League Elite, number 7. And Justice League 3000, number 15. And Justice League number 17 from 2017. And here's number 15, also from 2017. And JLA number 59 from 2001, part of the uh, Joker Last Laugh storyline called The Chilling Joke. Dropped a bunch of comics on the floor. They're slippery when they're in these bags. <laughs> All right. And that means some of them that should have been in order are not going to be. Um, I don't have them in any particular order, but when they're sets, then, you know, I, I try to put those in order, so... Generation Lost was a great run. Yeah, I'm trying to get that series. I, I'm, I know anything of those that I have are doubles because I'm trying to get that whole series put together. Along with most of the other main Justice League titles. Uh, let's see, we got Jane Foster, The Mighty Thor, number four, Legacy 323. And Justice League versus Suicide Squad, number one of six. I do have the whole set. This is number one, number two, number three, four, five, and six. Let's see, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, number 62. And uh, Infinite Crisis Aftermath, The Battle for Bloodhaven, number one of six. Black Canary, number seven from 1993. And Brightest Day, number 17, the Firestorm cover. And here's number 18, the nice uh, Hawkman and Hawkwoman uh, cover by Finch. 
cable number 18. Captain America 22, part of the Marvel Knights line. And Captain America number 26. Captain Marvel number 11. And Catwoman number 27. Who's the creative team on JLA versus Suicide Squad? Uh, let's see, that. A lot of different names on these covers. <laughs> Number one, I um, uh, got Joshua Williamson as the writer, uh, Jason Fabok as the main artist, it looks like. And then the second issue, it says Howard Porter is the artist. It looks like they have a different artist for every every issue actually. This one is uh, Robson Roca is the penciler with a crew of inkers on issue number five. Uh, number four lists somebody named uh, Passerin. Number three is Marino. Uh, number two is where are the credits? Oh, what's this? We got a Christmas uh, postcard in the middle of this issue. That's neat. From DC Comics. Hadn't, hadn't seen that before. Uh, Tony Daniel did the pencils on issue number two. So, same writer throughout, but the uh, artist changes every issue. <laughs> Captain Marvel number 19, Legacy 54. Uh, Journey number one from Aspen Comics. Uh, Journey into Mystery, 626.1. And this is uh, Chrono War, number three of nine uh, from Dark Horse Manga. And I think I have a few more of these. I think somebody, somebody sent these in a trade. I believe, um, but I'm not really into manga. So, there's number six, and there's number seven. Oh, you're welcome, Ranger. Yeah, like I said, we're just hanging out anyway. 
um, it's 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 odd to me that they would have a different artist for every issue like that. That seems weird. And I that I thought that Christmas postcard was cool too. If you hadn't asked, I would have never seen it. <laughs> uh, Johnny Red number one from Titan Comics. I I love this cover. This is so cool. Black and white, but it's just old time aviation. Uh, and this is uh, out of, from Titan Comics, so it's a UK title. Uh, not sure who the artist is. It's remin the art is reminiscent to somebody else, so, but I can't think of who it is. Um, Garth Ennis wrote it. Art by Keith Burns. Um, but the style looks... You know, I mean, it's a war comic, basically, so I guess it just looks a lot like the uh, Joe Kubert, Gil Kane style arts to me. But I, I really love that cover. That's cool. Uh, Easy wants Johnny Red. Easy's grabbing all the good stuff. Uh, Civil War Frontline number number three, and Civil War Young Avengers and Runaways number two, and Green Lantern fifty three from nineteen ninety four. Got Superman and Mongol in there. Here's the next issue, Green Lantern number 54. And then we jump ahead to 125 from 2000. From 2000. Well, that one's got some damage to it that I didn't see before. There's a, there's a big crease line in there. A scratch or something, like maybe somebody scraped it when they opened a box or something with a knife. Uh, Green Lantern number 10 from 2006. Nice cover. And there's number 11. Green Lantern Corpse number 2 from 2006. And here's number 25 from 2008. 26. And Green Lantern Corps Recharge, number one of five. This is from 2005. And here's number four. And Green Lantern Mosaic, number two. And number four. And the Incredible Hulk, number 55. This was only 25 cents when it came out. So they were trying to suck in some new readers. Wants a count. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. And Ranger. Nobody claimed Warlord Ranger. If, you, if you'd like to claim it, it's still here. Uh, Jack of Fables. This is number three from two thousand and six. 
and number four. And number 12. And I think I have quite a few of these because I was, just before I decided to start selling, uh, when I lost my location and my money went down, I, uh, I had just ordered a bunch of these off of an auction because I thought it was a, a series that looked interesting. <laughs> There's number 13, number 17, with the, looks like he's trying to put Humpty Dumpty back together. Uh, number 19. Number 23. Number 24. A couple Western issues. Number 27. Number 28. What was the Kirby that Easy claimed? Uh, it was Teen Agents from Tops. Uh, the number one issue uh, still sealed in its original poly bag with the trading cards. And Ranger's going to grab one. Um, it's buried in a stack right now, so I'll grab it after a bit. Uh, let's see, you've got John Burns' Next Men, number 7, because that was also a series I was going to start collecting. Number 11. Justice League America, number 36, with Nort. And a Legion of Superheroes, number 1. This is the one from 2011. I've uh, got Paul Leavitt's writing with Francis Portella. And Marvel Knights 4 from, this is number 3. And Mr. E, number 1, from 1991. Also number 2. And it doesn't say this is a Vertigo series, but it does say it's suggested for mature readers. Thanagar War, number three of six. Secret Invasion, number four of eight. Uh, Spirit, number eight from 2007, DC's Run. Superman, Batman, number 11, with Dark Side and Wonder Woman. Uh, Teen Titans number six. Looks like they are fighting the Justice League. Teen Titans 21. And Teen Titans 30. Some more Teen Titans. This is number 31. And plus up in the corner here it says, Whatever happened to Captain Carrot? <laughs> kind of a throwback to the series they used to have. In, uh, I think it was, was a DC Comics Presents they had that series in. They had it as a backup where they would showcase a bunch of old characters. Uh, Teen Titan is number 34. Teen Titan is number 44. Teen Titan is East versus Teen Titan is West. Ultimate X-Men number 30. And number 31. Number 32. Number 70. 
And this is something called Wellington. Um, I think I just liked the name of this, and I saw this one, number four, first with the rabbit. And uh, that appealed to me, so I went ahead and ordered these from an auction I was in. I don't, uh, you know, it was probably one of those auctions where the shipping was the same amount, so I just threw the books in that I thought looked interesting. I don't really know anything about them. Uh, and here you go, New Cherry Tunes, starring Heckle and Jekyll. This is number... 22 from 1973. And of course it's a little beat up. It's got a stain on the cover, cover here and got some spine ticks and things. It's got, it's got a stain down here on this corner. Um, let's see if I can show that better. You can see the, line, the stain line right there. But, you know, fun read. It's all there. And, uh, you know, one of those rare cartoon books where I actually had a second copy, so. And Easy's gonna claim Heckle and Uh, New X-Men, number 125, and 127, 130, 131, 136, 137, 149, 154, and New X-Men Academy X, number 16, something like that. Here's new X-Men, number 44. And John Burns next men number 13. And Aaron drops in. Hey, Aaron, how you doing? Glad to see you, buddy. John Burns, Next Man, number 18. Uh, Next Man, Faith, number one of four. So apparently it's... Okay, they just did weird things with the numbering. So it says number 19, but then it's Faith, number one of four. So... It's kind of a mini series, but it's also the uh, it's number 19 of the regular series. And they did the same thing with this one. This is number 26, but it's part four of a four issue storyline, I guess. There's number 30. And Nighthawk number three. Night Thrasher, number seven. Nova, number two. Nova, number 32. Nova, number 33. And from Continuity Comics, Crazy Man, number one. Uh, still loving the claim. Seems like a lot of work. <laughs> it is a lot of work. Um, uh... Yeah, it's 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 not a whole lot of work. I mean, I go through all the comics anyway, and it's it's uh, it's not too bad. But it's it's I, I I don't know. I have some decisions to make on what way I want to go with the, the whole the whole thing, and I haven't decided yet. Um, a part of me that the the businessman part of me is like, well, you know, you're if you're going to sell comics, you should be selling comics. It's hard to collect and sell um so but if i don't sell then i can't collect so it's uh i don't know i'm having internal struggles with it right now <laughs> 
part of me is like, well, just sell, just go ahead and try and sell everything. And then, uh, you know, you get to keep what doesn't sell. Uh, or maybe just co go back to just collecting digitally like I used to do and go ahead and sell books. But I'd miss having the actual comics. So, I don't know. It's a decision to be made down the line. Uh, we got OMAC number one of eight. The OMAC project number two. I don't know if that's the same series or not. Let's see, this one's from September 2006. This one's from July 2005. So, okay, the OMAC came after the OMAC project. So here's number two, the OMAC project. Number three. Number four, cool cover. And number five. And number six. So I thought that was a whole series, but the number one is actually from a later series. So. And Easy wants to claim crazy, man, crazy. Thank you, sir. So it's fun doing these. Um, it's fun doing the live stream. It's fun. It'll be interesting to see what I can find at the Comics Den sale next week um, on Saturday. Because it'll be the first time I'll be buying with the idea of selling in mind. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what I can find. Now that I you know, have an idea of what you guys like. Um, and basically, you like the same stuff I like, so that's why a lot of this stuff doesn't sell. <laughs> because I keep the stuff I like. Uh, Omega Flight number one. And Onslaught Reborn number two of five. And Onslaught Reborn number five. Variant cover. Don't see a name on it, but I, anyway. Uh, Original Sin, annual number one. And Original Sins, number one of five. So you're leaning into becoming a seller, right? Go for it and keep the trading program going too. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I really just am at a, a mindset where I don't know. I just don't know. Um, maybe. And part of me is just, you know, get off your butt, get out there, find some more locations so you don't have to sell and can just go ahead and collect again. <laughs> Outcast number 15. Outsiders zero, Outsiders six, Outsiders twenty two, right. so many characters on these newer books I don't really know who they are. Uh, here's Outsiders number twelve, which is and fourteen. So these were the these are the same issues I showed in the set at the beginning. They're just doubles of some of them. Here's number 21. Uh, looks like Batman versus Nightwing. Number 24, Indigo. Oh, Indi Indigo is Brainiac 8.0. Okay. So is she from the future then? Because Brainiac 5 is in the Legion of Superheroes. <laughs> Uh, Outsiders, number 26, Batman's Back. Outsiders, number 27. Number 33. Number 34. 
Number 38. 49. Outsiders Annual, number one from 2007. Prison Break. And Outsiders 15. And I, this, I don't know if this is the same series or not. It's hard to tell. Uh, here's number 17 with Geoforce and Black Lightning on the cover. Uh, number 18 with Creeper and Metamorpho. Number 19. I don't know who those people are. And here's number 37 from 2011. The Reign of Doomsday storyline. That's pretty cool cover with him uh, just wiping everybody out there. And Peacemaker number one from more books that was the end of that long box but I'm gonna grab a few more books and go through a few more I know there's some some good stuff in uh, the pile that I was starting for the next long box and since there's not a sale next week I've got lots of time to uh, put another box together The Day Demeth. Welcome, sir. I'm reading Electra 17 from 1997. Mike Diodato has incredible art. Ultraverse color concepts. Marvel bought are nice, too. Okay. Uh, so we got Green Lantern number one. From, this is the, uh, the new series that's out now. I think they're up to issue number eight. We've got number one and two. Um... I just read these in a review that a, on, for a video that I filmed yesterday. It won't be out for like another week or so. Um, these are good. These are good. I'm not a big Hal Jordan fan or Green Lantern, huge Green Lantern fan. But these are really... Uh, it was a good story. I didn't care for the backups so much. There's a couple of backups in them. Um, but uh, this is a variant cover by... Ivan Rice, and this one is a variant cover by uh, Mikey Adao. And uh, they were good. They were good. I, I went online and caught, caught up on the storyline uh, to the current day. They were good enough for me to do that. <laughs> uh, who's doing GL? Um... Let's see, we got Jeremy Adams as the writer and artist is Xermanico, X-E-R-M-A-N-I-C-O, whoever that is. But the art's decent in it. Um, it was, they, they were good reads, I enjoyed them. And here we go. This ought to wake you up. Roy Rogers from Dell. This is... Uh, yeah, I was going through uh, my R comics and found that I actually had two copies of this. So this is number 45 from 1951. Uh, and Ranger gets it because easy is for going his claim.
it is pretty beat up just so you know it's worn the color is faded uh, but it is all there the spine's still intact and uh, it's got a rip in the back but uh, other than that very cool and and the, when I looked at it in the bag I thought maybe there was a chunk missing here um, but that's the actual cover there's nothing missing there that's just the coloring on the cover or the gap between his his arm and leg there Uh, Scout War Shaman number four. Yeah, I just went through all these two and found out I had two copies of this issue. I think that was the only one I had two copies of. Uh, the Sandman Overture on number four from Vertigo. Savage Dragon number two. Savage Dragon number three. And another number three. So I think this was the first... These were the first introductory miniseries, number two and three. And then this is number three from the ongoing. And Savage Dragon 211. First issue in a bold new direction. Scarlet Spider, number one. Scarlet Spider, number two. From Webslinger to Gunslinger. That's just wrong. Scarlet Spider, unlimited, number one. Scarlet, number 11, from DC in 93. Secret Avengers, number three. Secret Avengers number four, number five, number six, and Secret Avengers number eleven, and number twelve, number twenty eight, thirty four. 35. Not sure what's going on there, but it looks cool. <laughs> and number 36, Hawkeye versus Everybody. And number 37, final issue. Uh, Secret Invasion, one shot. Secret Invasion, uh, Requiem. Secret Invasion, Fantastic Four, number one. And number two. Secret Invasion, Frontline, number three. And number four, where the uh, scrolls are sitting down to Thanksgiving dinner, I guess. <laughs> and here's number five. Uh, Secret Six, number four. And don't really know anything about this, but I love this cover just because there's so much going on on it. Secret Six, number ten. Secret Six, number 11. This is a really cool cover with Batgirl. Um, kind of in an iconic Batman pose on top of a uh, statue in Gotham City, it looks like. Uh, Secret Six, number 17 with Catman. Nice cover there. 
And number 18. I don't really know who that is. Could be a Manhunter. Maybe. Uh, Secret Warriors from Marvel. This is number 11. Number 14. Number 19. Uh, Secret War Journal, number 5. And Secret Weapons, number 1 from Valiant. I've heard good things about Secret 6. I like the covers. The covers are, are good. I haven't actually cracked open an issue to look inside. Just a few more issues from the next pile. <laughs> See if anybody's interested in Richie Rich. Uh, I finally went through that whole crate of Richie Rich books, um, filing them into my dating system. And I uh, found a few uh, uh, doubles where I had more than one issue. So. This one's Richie Rich, number 135, 25-cent cover. And these aren't, these aren't mint. They're, you know, they, they have spine ticks and corner wear and all that good stuff. Uh, Richie Rich Money World, number 10, 20-cent cover. Richie Rich Fortunes, number 11, 52-page uh, giant size. Richie Rich Bank Book, number 9. And then some Ultimate Fantastic Fours. Here's number 4, number 9, and number 11, 12, and 31. Blah, blah, blah. Any little dot issues? Um... No, not so far. Although Little Dot is in uh, some of these. Like, she, you can see her here on the cover, so she's more than likely in that one. Uh, and I think, I know in the early Richie Riches, she was one of the backups. So, don't see her on any of the other of these. But she should be in bank books. She is as a one pager. Yeah, she's got a story in here. <laughs> Looks like they're uh, eating Swiss cheese, which is normal. And then there's a little lot of backup too. So you got Richie Rich, Little Dot, and Little Lotta were were his backups in the earlier issues of Richie Rich, the different Richie Rich titles. Uh, Richie Rich Fortunes, the double size one. Cool. Thank you, Easy. Secrets number four is an ode to a famous painting drawn in the 50s. Is that the ones where the scrolls were like at the Thanksgiving table? Yeah. Yeah, that's been done a lot of times over the years for different titles. And Ranger's going to grab Richie Rich Bank book.
Thank you. And I gotta go through this stack and find your warlord yet too, so. Alright, that about does it for this week, guys. Thanks a lot. Um we will uh let me see, let me just switch I'll switch over to the camera so I can talk to you. <laughs> Feels weird talking to you and looking at the camera that's just at the on the comics. So there I am. All right, thank you everybody. The uh, uh, let's see. Next week I no claim sale next week, uh, so you get you get the week off. You don't have to show up. Um, <laughs> I'll be at the uh, the comic stand claim sale looking for more comics, and uh, so yep, no claim sale next week. The uh, I don't have enough money saved up, so I'm going to have to dip into the till a little bit to buy books, probably. <laughs> I have to make it up later. And, uh... Just saw Return of the Jedi again, and it seems so cheesy this time around. Maybe George Lucas was burnt out by the first two. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with, uh... Any movies that you loved as a kid, sometimes when you go back and watch them, they're not as they're not quite as good as you remember them. Uh, Aaron, goodbye. Yes, goodbye. See you soon. Uh, so yeah, no claim sale next week. I will. I am going to try and go live from uh, the Comics Den sale. Um, I don't know if it's going to work because they don't go live there. And I've heard them say that their internet connection inside that building doesn't is, isn't good enough for them to go live. So, uh, but I will try. Um, but don't really expect it to happen. Um, after I get done off the air here, I'm going to jump back in and go live again uh, just from my phone. Because I've never done it from my phone and I want to see how it works. I have to make sure I have the right app. Because um, I, I know I have the YouTube uh, Studio app on there, but apparently you can't go live from that. You have to go live from the regular YouTube app, which is very strange to me, but apparently that's the case. <laughs> so I'm going to jump on for just a minute or so uh, later today um, just to check it out and see how it works so that I know what I'm doing when I attempt it next week. And... Uh, Um, yeah, so that's that's the way that's gonna go. Good luck on finding fun books next week. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be looking, and I'll be. Yeah, the nice thing about uh, of doing this with the selling is, if I see books that I know I already have, but I know they're like the books that you guys are interested in, I'll still I can still go ahead and grab them. So, um, you know, so I'll be looking for for the cartoon books and the horror books and the. Uh, still the offbeat stuff that I like, but a lot of times, you know, I'm like, I already got that one, I already got that one, and, and now I can just go ahead and get them. So it'll be interesting to see what I come up with out of this sale, uh, since it'll be the first time that I really have in mind I'm looking for stuff to sell. Last time, um, part of the reason I got five boxes last time was because I did know I was going to be trying to sell stuff. I wanted to test it and see how it would go. Um, and we have, I mean, this is... What, I think this is the seventh sale that I've done. And we have sold uh, an entire, basically two boxes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, o over two, with, with this sale, uh, it will be over two long boxes that I have sold of, of comics to you guys. So uh thank you very much for for that i know um sometimes you buy them just to help me out and and uh i appreciate that uh um but yeah i'd definitely be looking for stuff that's not necessarily modern superheroes um and we'll just see what i come up with i i, I may i may that's where i'm gonna have to figure out what i'm doing probably i won't know till after that sale because if i uh part of me just like we'll just buy stuff that's just to sell and see how it does um 
But that's not any fun. I want to collect. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I've got. I'm, I'm of two minds here. I don't know which way to go. It's hard to do both. Um. And yeah, we'll just see. Eventually, I'll make up my mind which way I want to go. So, uh, one thing that the the claim sales are helping with is the uh, uh, the algorithm. Um, the watch hours. I, I get a lot more watch hours out of one of these live sales than I do, uh, you know, the daily videos. And and uh, so the subscriber count has started going up again. And like I said earlier, I apologize for the video quality on some of the videos recently and coming up as well. Um, that sh you should see a change. I'll, I'm going to go back to just using the camera on my phone uh, for the daily videos. So you should see a huge uptick in the quality of the video. Uh, keep it fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it to be work. I, yeah, I have fun doing both. It's the fact that I'm trying to do both at the same time that that uh, makes me go crazy a little bit. So I think I would still have fun if I was selling. And I could just go back to doing digital uh, collections, which I have a huge digital collection that's not organized at all. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Uh, what's my total? Seventeen books, easy. And Ranger, you've got three books. Um, yeah, no need to 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 pay for that if you if you want to wait. Um, yeah, it's not that much, so not a big deal. Uh. Two long boxes is great. Clear space and add some money for the comics budget. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's, you know, I, I don't think I've ever had more than four buyers on any one sale. Um, and it's usually the same four or five people. Uh, so so you guys are great. Thank you. Um. And yeah, I think that's that. I think that's huge. That's a lot of books. Um, for such a small viewership, you know. I mean, we have uh, six people watching right now. A second ago, we had five, so somebody just joined us. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, and, and it, maybe if I did it in a different part of the day, maybe it would be better. Maybe there'd be more viewership. Um, but people tend to watch it afterwards. And, you know, they, some, some of them reach out and, and, you know, the books are still available. Uh, uh, so I'll go ahead and ship to them. And... Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's something to do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, cool. Sending money in a bit. Please hold them until it helps you with shipping. Um... I think I have books from last week for you, so I'll probably go ahead and ship this week. And cool, thanks. I'll pay with the next sale. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, yeah, Kendall, ki the Kendall kid, Kendall is missing today. Um, so, uh, uh, and that's fine. You know, I don't. Uh, um, yeah, he's my he's my main modern buyer i guess and uh and he'll be back we we email each other quite a bit um so he's he's definitely one that will be around when he has the cash <laughs> yeah i held them from last week yeah so i'll go yeah so i'll probably go ahead and ship uh this week, easy because I think you got a, a a pretty decent stack, and we want to leave some room in the box for the previews. So uh, we'll get those shipped out to you. Alrighty, let's see. My mom hasn't called for any help, uh, so I'll go ahead and play the musical interlude, and I will see you in two weeks. 
Uh, tomorrow's video, uh, if you want to check that out, is actually a clip video of a bunch of cartoons um, from one of the ads, you know, the Saturday morning ads that were in the comics. I picked one out for uh, Saturday morning on CBS and just kind of went through all the clips and the history of each show. So a little bit different tomorrow if you want to check that out. And uh, so here we go.